Hey, it's Wednesday and I haven't forgotten you. Hi, everyone. It's uh, according to the ca uh, car temperature, it's about 81 degrees where I'm sitting. Uh, it's cooler inside, of course. And uh, a nice little breeze, probably about 10 miles an hour. It's, it's almost balmy. It feels like summer. For those of you who are in Phoenix, God bless you all. I'm really sorry. Oh my gosh, I have family there and they're all either, they're in their air-conditioned homes, I hope. It's a really hot, hot time right now across the country. Even in Florida, I'm seeing the temperatures at over 100 and I don't think they're used to it. And they have high humidity. Our humidity is a little warm right now, probably in the 60s, 60% 60 humidity here. So... What has been going on? Well, I just got my nails done. I had a dental appointment this morning. And I'm going to get some mouth surgery. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. You know, you know, all the things that they do in your mouth over the years, they wear and tear, just like anything else. Hi, Monica. <laughs> and you know, when they wear and tear, all of a sudden they come back to haunt you. So yes, I'm gonna get some mouth surgery in a few weeks. Um, and I don't know how much it is yet and they're going to call me and I'm not excited about that either but I'm going to do what I can to keep my mouth alive so I can keep chewing and talking correctly because you need teeth in order to talk I found that out when my mom took her teeth out and she tried to talk and I had no idea what she was saying so <laughs> um, but you know, life happens and you got to take care of it yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you really, you can't depend on everyone else. So make sure, you know, I take my supplements. I walk every almost every day. I, uh, you know, eat as healthy as I possibly can. Not high on the carbs. Pretty good high on the protein as best I can. Um, and uh, my meals aren't that large. Uh, and I definitely try to take stay away from the from chocolate you know <laughs> so and I'm not a caffeine user except for some of the chocolate that's in my protein bars uh, I don't drink coffee except when Kenneth buys a coffee and I'm hot I'm cold and I need a sip uh, I don't drink alcohol I'm kind of a really cheap date <laughs> and um but you know that's me and that's who I am and that's where I'm going um a couple of things when I was talking about walking, I have a friend who is doing hashtag step tap challenge. So every day when he goes out to take his walk, he talks to you. I don't know if you want me to do that because um, you might not recognize me. I have my sunglasses on. I have a hat on. Uh, I guess I could try next week and see how that works out. Um, and then he talks to us about stuff. Uh, he started out by just talking about walking. And he's gone from walking, you know, 3,000 steps to maybe walking twice a day and now hitting 10,000 steps, which is great. He's trying to do something not just for his body, but for his relationship with every one of you. So um, my friend Tim is doing very well. And I keep telling him how many steps I have in the day, too. And it's because my first row of steps, when I do my first walk, which is a little over three miles, is anywhere between 7,400 to 7,800 steps. And then if you add in the daytime, and if you go to Costco, <laughs> I'm going into the supermarket, so go there, walk around there, add in at least another thousand to so steps. But it keeps me going, and then the up and down of the staircase. So it's things like that. You've got to get up, you've got to get out, you've got to get moving, your knees need to be moving, your thighs need to be moving. Uh, you know, your arms need to move while you're walking. It's all good health, all good health. And um, with this heat, if you can't walk outside, go to the mall, walk in the mall. That's air conditioned and you walk up and down or stay in your house if it's air conditioned and at least walk in place. Get your body moving. It's good for you. Right, Monica? Um, the other thing, uh, as you know, okay, so this Thursday, tomorrow night, down in downtown Torrance in front of the Torrance Historical Society. If you're in this if you're in the area, stop by. You're gonna see us. The Torrance Rose Food Association is gonna be out there with our booth, um, encouraging people, inviting people, I should say. 
to buy memberships. Memberships are 20 bucks. Or buy a rose vial for the 2024 float, which I posted. If you haven't seen a picture of it, shoot me a message down below and I'll, I'll add a photo of uh, the 2024 float. It's beautiful. Life is nature, I think. It's something, something, life is nature. It's got hummingbirds. It's got a mama bird feeding her baby birds. And the sounds that they make are very unique during that time. Um, and of course, the other thing that's coming up starting the first weekend of August is, let's see if I can get this and you can read this. I don't know, it's backwards. Kinky Boots. So, Torrance Theatre Company is performing Kinky Boots at the Armstrong Theatre, which is Central Torrance. We're still selling tickets. It's those, those first three weekends of the month. Tickets are probably $35, $45 each. Um, what's Kinky Boots about? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's you're going to see a lot of red, a lot of sparkly, um, some music, some dancing, and Cindy Lapa. Ha Lopper, I should say, Cindy Lopper, um, is the music and lyrics. So, but I think it's a story of a guy whose father, he inherited his father's men's shoe store, and the men's shoes that he was making were loafers, and no men were wearing loafers anymore. And somebody came to him and asked him for a certain kind of shoe, and that enhanced his, his whole business, went in another direction. So that's only part of the story. There's more to the story. So come and see the play. Uh, tickets, go online to torrentstheatercompany.com to buy your tickets or go to the um, James Armstrong Theater. You can buy your tickets. Um, you can choose your seats. And I know uh, we're going to be there probably opening night. And there'll be a night that I'll be there to help run concessions maybe the next weekend. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's things to do here in Torrance. You've got the beach. You've got um, uh, all the all the parks are, have things going on. There's music going on in all the parks. There's a summer, summer music series going on through the city of Torrance. Redondo has things. Manhattan Beach, a polywog, there's always something going on. So get out of the house, guys. <clears throat> Take advantage. We don't, you know, we're not living in rain, and it's not that hot that you can't go out. You know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you know how the breeze comes through? Well, the breeze is coming through. So, hi, Mary. Hi. Uh, so come on out and see us. Come on out of your your enclosed home and take off your mask and let's start walking around. <laughs> if you have any real estate needs, call Carol Gillis at 310-864-9738. Bye. It's a wild Wednesday. Keep cool.